Last game of game two, it's Nashville Predators and Minnesota Wilds. This time it's about to be happening here again at the XL Energy Center to see what we have. So, Nashville in the lead at 1-0. Will they have the advantage to try to take the tackle on the Wilds? Or will the Wilds try to answer free to stop them from 1-1 series tied? So let's see what happens when we when we get there close. Time for the game at the XL Center Energy Center in Minnesota. Let the games begin. Here we go. It's a Central Division matchup tonight, and we've got you covered here on EA Sports. I'm Jay Savalski. He's Rick Rowe. Welcome. So glad you could join us. We are just seconds away now for puck drop. The Predators take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Maintains possession. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Made the stop on the play. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. Turns it aside with the glove. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Yossi's known for making those long breakout passes to spring his teammates. That's his send it zone ability, and it can really get things going. Take it along the wall by Dolodowski. To the front, denies him. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Looks to set up at the point now. Moves the puck across to Zuccarello. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Misses! Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Takes the feed. Puck moved over to Granlin. From the slot. Wrist shot. Too much congestion in front. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Nashville's won the draw. They'll go to work. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick pass to Goudreau. And that pass can't connect. Minnesota's in now. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Moves the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. This one in front. That's blocked by Kakanen. Right from the most dangerous area on the ice. The goalie flashes the glove. That's an arrogant stop. Nashville's won the faceoff. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Kakanen. inside the defensive zone. Takes a shot. That's kicked away with a pad by Saros. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Johansson's won a big draw on their own end. Manages to hang on. The Predators take it along the wing. Takes the pass. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Here's a short pass to Brodeen. Minnesota's across the blue line. Handles the puck at the point. Stones him in front. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goal is just better on this time. They start to get a little physical out there. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Nice zone entry from the left. The Predators get a hold of the puck. Slides it diagonally to Duchesne. 
Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Dumba. They fight for it along the boards. And now he moves it quickly to Forsberg. Nashville's got it in their own zone. Slides the puck to Duchesne. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Moves the puck to Johansson. Back at the point, he set it up. Scooped up along the wall by Forsberg. Zuccarello stick handling in his own zone. Hartman swooping in on the attack. And that's picked off. Nice zone entry on the left side. Here's a shot. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Oh, the pull check. What a read by the goaltender. Right up the gun into the attacking zone. From a slot, reshot. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Kakinen's able to make a save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. More than half the period left to play. Still no score in this one. Harrison X won it off the faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Slides it across to Golodowski. Throws it on goal. Stop by the goaltender. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. Sissons looks around. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Erickson X got it on the offensive end. Takes it to the net. Taken by Fabro. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Sissons. And not much on that one. Kakinen's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Well, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Gautreaux won the faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Golodowski. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Into the corner now. The Predators have it against the wall. Stays with it. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Predators take possession in the defensive end. Quick feed to Coonan. Across the line and on the attack. Pass back to the point. From the place 99 made famous. Slides the puck down low. Scrum ensues along the boards. And it's a quick pass to Yossi. And that's not to side with the stick by Golodowski. There's a hit on the play. The Predators scoop it up along the boards. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Takes the shot, denies him with the pad. Moves it quickly over to Fiala. Makes his presence known on the ice. Fabro's got it across the line. Nashville's got the puck against the boards. From the point, they take control of it. The Predators will play from the corner. Keeps holding the puck. Slides that one right across the blue line. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Sends a pass over. Let's it fly. And he makes the save. Saros gets on top of the puck, and we'll get a whistle. Everybody on the ice is gassed. He's probably gassed, too. Now you can get a drink of water and reset. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We've still got zeros on the board. Nashville's got a hold of the puck now. The Predators take it across the line. Shot! Nothing! He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. Face off looming as both centers get into position. The Predators take possession on the face off. Oh, a 
just like that, steals the puck and goes the other way. Let's it go, and he comes up with it. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. That's crap is a call that you're looking at. That's what it's going to happen to you to help them. Nashville's won the draw. Pass to Chanel. Receives the pass. Nashville's ready to go on the attack. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Now he takes it over the line. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Passes over to Chanel. Settings in the first period of Stanley Cup playoffs. Goes right to the crease. An easy save by Saros. Really like his positioning here as he's able to get the glove up there to make the save. But it doesn't have to be a spectacular, crazy save because he's in a good spot. Here in the later stages of this period, we've got a 1 0 hockey game thus far. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. Last minute remaining in the first period of the game. The Predators have played from the defensive zone. Quick feed to Sissons. Nice pass. Fires it into the offensive zone. Trennan's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And that's blocked. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Get it to Golodowski. Moves it quickly over to Hartman. That's off a stick. Turns him away. 
And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. 1-0, Wild in the lead. Second period is coming up next after this break. On now to the second period. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped and we are underway. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? No surprise, this game is just one nothing at this point. Both goaltenders have been on top of their game tonight. Picked up along the wall by Caprizov. Greenway's hooking in on the attack. The Predators gain control of the puck against 
against the wall. Oh, Stick Crater's on him. So disappointing. There's $300 he won't get back. He's not paying anyway. The Predators have it now. Moves it to Benning. Sends the pass over. Enters the offensive zone from the left. And that one's broken up. Takes the feed. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. And that's turned aside by Seros. Puck battle along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck. Look out. Yeah, that, you didn't say that quick enough. He got flattened as he was trying to go down the boards. And that's stopped away by Echo. And now it's grabbed by Eric Zanek. Sissons takes it along the wing. Stays with it. Nashville's playing it from the side. Dumba's lugging the puck. Here they come on the attack. Puts it on that. Oh, and there's a great save by Seros. Takes a shot. Wide of the net. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Lets it fly. Turned aside with it, left by Seros. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Still lots of time left in the period. 2-0 is the score. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Nashville's looking to break out of their own end. Duchesne's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop with the paddle! Kakin in school tending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Both teams are set, they're ready to drop the puck. Play results as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Fialo's moving it ahead. And he takes a shot, and the puck makes off the club. Scrum off the boards. Handles the puck. Takes the feed. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Slides the puck across to Golodowski. Gains the zone through the middle. Moves the puck. Wild goal! His second goal of the season, scored by number 97, Pegoro! Benny Goldberg! And my number 47, Dursky! Time to goal, 11.50 remaining in his second period. Wilds goal! His first goal of the season, scored by number 28, Peter Krapikov! Oh. His first assist by number 6, Holy Goal! And by number 21, Matt Zuccarello! Time of the goal, 13.44 remaining in that second period in a Stanley Cup playoffs. He's going to take on a lot here as the captain of this team. And they're not playing very well, they're chasing the game, and he's got to be the one to grab everybody by the collar and say it's time to get back to work here. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The centermen glide into position. The Predators will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Minnesota's got it across the line. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Funny, James, when you try something a little bit too much, you know halfway through it's not working anyway. I'm pretty sure that was the thought there. Uses the force on that hit. Caprizov's got it along the boards. Shot right in front. Oh, what a stick save. 
save. I thought they worked the puck around pretty good here. They get a good chance on goal, but not to be. Here's a shot. Scores. You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. The Wild have everything going for them tonight. Every bounce is wound up in the back of the net. They've been the better team. They've been the Wild. Second goal of the season, score by number 97, Van Krapuzov. Here's first assist, second assist by number 21, Matt Zuccarello. And by Brian Corby. Time to go, 14 minutes, 33 seconds in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. goals here for the Wilds. It looks like they could be a shout out win for the Wilds and another loss here for Nashville to try to tie the series up. But we'll be right back after this one so you don't want to go anywhere because the last quarter of period is almost at the end of the book so it's going to be up there underway after this. This is it. Last period to go. Let's finish it. Assessment of the 
Bulls tilt. Nashville's frustration is pretty evident. They've had all kinds of chances, but that goalie down there has been amazing. Hartman's going to play it against the half wall. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And there's the save. Denies him again. Right spot makes the double save. Positioning does it all. Here's a short pass to Superello. Scooped up along the wall by Forsberg. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Sucarello's got the puck. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Granlin. The Wild have it on the attack. Makes a move in front. And he opts to wait for more support. And now he tries to get it across to Duchesne. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Forsberg. The Predators played along the boards. Easily turned aside by Kakanen. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We are in blowout territory right now. It's 5-0. Taken by Favreau. Uh-uh! Beautiful defensive effort. Nashville's got possession here in the offensive zone. Kakanen's gonna slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Detroit's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Kakanen's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Petros won it off the faceoff. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Denies the shooter on that play. Nashville's on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Coonan. Nashville goal. His first goal of the season scored by number 11, Lance Koenig. His first assist by number 92, Lance Johansson. Time of the goal. Time of the goal. 10 minutes, 35 seconds in the third period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Watch out for that big hit. Nashville's got the puck in their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Quick pass to Erickson Eck. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Erickson Eck. Along the right side into the offensive zone. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Takes a shot. Oh, he's going to be 
disappointed, James. He's going to get back to the bench and wonder, what did I do there? I had a great scoring chance and missed the net. There's the whistle, and here's the... Minnesota penalty, Alex Kowalski, two minutes for holding. Man advantage unit is set. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net. Alex Kowalski, two minutes for holding for the, for the Minnesota Wilds. It is, a, it is now a power play for Nashville. Nice zone entry from the middle. Takes the shot. That's turned away with the pad by Kekkonen. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Predators get a hold of the puck along the boards. Feeds it over to Koonin. Minnesota's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Here's a shot, gets in front of it. Protein's got it in the defensive end. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. Here's a chance, makes the glove stop. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Passes the puck over to Tomasino. Quick feed to Coonan. Denies him in front. He sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work he done on the power play would help them capitalize. You do a nice job there. The Predators have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scorers out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. Nashville goal. Puck His second goal ball. of the season scored by number 11, Luke Clement. His first assist by number 25, followed by Buffen, and by number 43, Ras Kamasin. Time of the goal. Time of the goal. 16 minutes, 33 seconds, in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. More than half the frame has been played here. The Predators are in a desperate need of a goal as they still trail by three. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Great poke check on the reach. The Predators gain control of the puck. Kakanen's on top of it for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Hartman's won the faceoff. Nice pass. Drills him. Moves it quickly over to Superello. Puck goes out of play. We got a face out coming up. Hartman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Can't find his man. And a quick little stick lift and comes up with a turnover. Moves it to Superello. That pass doesn't go. Slides the puck over. Oh, there's one more. Excellent chance. They work the puck into position, and it's a scoring chance. It's turned away. Here's a shot. Scores. Now they got the first brick in the wall here. They've got to move the wall continually. Another brick, another brick. See if they can get one more goal. It's not about tying the game yet, James. It's about giving yourself a real chance. Nashville goal is first goal of the season, scored by number 95, Matt Gersten. And a great save. That's a good save. His first assist by Alex Forsberg and by number 29, all time. Time of the goal, 15-43 remaining in the third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Shot! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Riddick! Past the midway mark in this period, the Predators are trying to get back into this one as they still trail by two goals. 
nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Plays out to get in front of that one. Hangs on to the puck. Takes a hit on the play. Puck picked up by Fiala. The Predators take over on possession. And he slides it quickly to Yossi. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. A shot! Too much traffic in the lane. Sends the pass over. Gains the zone from the right side. The Predators have it now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's the shot! And that was stopped! Kakanen's gonna hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Made the stop on the play. Quick pass to Superello. We've seen just about every type of goal so far tonight. And we're not finished yet, James. This has no look of a game that's going to get locked down anytime soon. The Predators gain possession along the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And they send it right back to them. The Predators have it now. Into the offensive zone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Kaprizov's got it on the offensive end. The Predators have it against the wall. Quick feed to Tomasino. Cutting to the front of the net. And he elects to explore his options. Couldn't complete the pass. There's a great close save by Kakanen. Minnesota's got it along the wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. And it's kicked away. Johansson's picking up steam. Here's a chance. That's blocked by Kakanen. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Here in the late going to the frame. Minnesota's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows. Tonight they lead at 5-3. Scored by number 92, Harris Johansson. His first assist of the game at my third and fourth, sorry. And by third quarter. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 53 seconds. The third period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Tomorrow won't be that fun in practice. 
And a nice tip of the cap from the home team after a job well done. Now uh, you give the fans something to cheer about, they'll stay and cheer you on. A nice win at home. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night. What a play. And I thought that Nashville Predators would have got a chance to take the tie and send it right into overtime. But now they didn't. The goal was put it up here on so many plucks here on the Wilds. And that's how they done it. Time for the three star players of the game. Starting off with number three, we have this big one. And it's Frederick Gardero. Two goals only. It reaches out just like he did here before. And that's how he did here, just like that. Number two is Alex Golovsky. Three assists and one hit. And number one star is Kreprikov. Two goals and one assist. Awesome job here for the Wilds as they are now tied up in the series of one. They will be back here in the third game, but our next schedule for game number three is the Hurricanes playing, for, playing at Boston. And then it will be another one to take it from here as it is with now the Avalanche facing up against the Stars at Dallas. And then of course on the other hand, we have his Capitals against the Florida Pampers. And then it will be the St. Louis Blues at home playing against the Calgary Flames here in St. Louis. Then, for the two versus third seed of this, of this game, well, this all turned out to be just like them. Nashville Predators against the Minnesota Wilds playing at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. Then, of course, the Rangers at Pittsburgh in the Steel City. Then, we all have one favorite to think about what they did here so far. It is the Kings and the Oilers. And that will conclude here for this part of the game. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to check out the previous game that I have already done so far, head right over here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. And of course, the last one I can't forget is the Tampa Bay Lightnings at home against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, thank you for watching, and see you again next time. Peace out, everyone, for as well as the Stanley Cup playoff game dial. Have a great rest of the night for Minnesota of the Wilds and Nashville of the Zerd to be praying.